Hi, can I have a medium diet coke, please? Sure. Thanks for meeting me here. No problem. So what's going on? I got a call yesterday from this block number, and this guy said that he needed ten million dollars from me, or he'd kill me. I don't know why anyone would come to me asking for ten million dollars. I don't even have a million dollars, and I've never ever been caught up in any mess like this. Well, what do we do? Notify the police? No, definitely not. We can't risk him knowing we went to the police. He'd kill me for sure. Well, what do you want me to do? Stay close to your phone. You were the first person I call if I need help. Package for Josh Connor. Thank you. Yeah, have a nice day. You too. Hey, Sam, um, can you be outside in five minutes? I need to come pick you up. I can't believe he sent you a letter. I know, right? I have no idea who this guy is, and now he's threatening me again and asking for $15 million. There's also no return address in the envelope. Josh, you have to turn this guy in. No, the second the media gets word of him, he will find me and kill me right in my house and not give me a second look. He obviously knows where I live. Well, the police could send a guard to your house and have a team on standby. No, he would outsmart them all. I still wouldn't feel safe. So, are you going to meet him? What? Well, it says right here. He wants you to meet him at this parking lot at 8 o'clock so you can give him the money. Ugh, I didn't see that part. I called you and I had the house before I could finish reading the letter. Well, what are you going to do? Well, there's only one thing we can do. Okay, if we're gonna pull off this plan, we're gonna need a few things first. Let's do it. We know he wants the $15 million, so we have to get a briefcase that will hypothetically be able to hold $15 million asked for. Obviously, we're not just gonna give up $15 million, so we get an old briefcase, stuff it with some papers to weigh it down, which should buy us some time while he opens it to get away. He also gave us the location of the meeting place, which would give us an advantage of the cops. So right before we leave, you call the cops and let them know everything, but make sure it's at the last possible second so nothing gets out. We can't take any chances. Got it. Now, he will already be there by the time we arrive, so I'm going to pretend that I am there and alone. Once I park and get out, I want you to very carefully sneak into the front seat, out of sight, and just stay there. When I set the briefcase down, he will make his first move, and when he does, I want you to turn the car on and come right in front of me so I can hop in the back. Won't he have a gun? Most likely. That's why I have to move very fast to get us both out alive. What if I don't move fast enough? Once he hears the engine turn on, he's going to start shooting. Just do it as fast as you can and stick to the plan. That'll be the only way. He's not here yet. What do we do now? Just chill. He'll be here any minute. Look, over there. Who are you? How do you know me? What do you want from me? I've been watching you for a while now. Seven years, in fact. I know who your dad is. A big, rich businessman. He's been doing a lot of bad things lately. What are you talking about? My father gave up his life fighting for our freedom. He's been dead for 15 years. You have the wrong guy. Lies! I do not have the wrong guy. Your father turned traitor for the enemy. He killed half my family. And you're trying to tell me he died fighting for our freedom? You have the wrong guy. How did you do that? Self-starting car, 